The Duwamish River is Seattle's river, and salmon are at the heart of Seattle culturally. We are a shipbuilding, ship repair, and a complex uh, fabrication company. So we build vessels, we fix vessels, and then we build complex steel structures. We have facilities in Oregon, Washington, and Alaska. Vigor had a legal obligation to do a restoration from past environmental damage caused by operations that started out here during World War I. Rather than just either write a check or pay somebody else to mitigate off-site, we had the unique opportunity to do this project on site using our land that we can control and really turn it into a special project. Estuarine habitat is vital for Chinook to be able to feed and rest and bulk up before they enter the ocean. The goal of the project is really to see if we can successfully create quality salmon habitat in an urban environment and to create a habitat that can offer salmon a resting spot and a feeding spot on their migration out the Duwamish River to the ocean. We're gonna create three acres of shallow water habitat aimed mostly at aiding salmon recovery on the Duwamish River. What you're looking at is future salmon habitat. We are about 60% through construction. Over the next five months, this will be regraded for habitat with mudflat and riparian and saltwater marsh. Past practices from 50, 60 years ago were to treat wood with chemicals and those chemicals are harmful to the environment. So that's why they're being removed from the area as part of this construction project. By providing more estuarine habitat, we're hopeful that more Chinook will survive past that early marine stage and be able to go out to the ocean, grow to adults, and come back and return. We chose to build this project because we wanted to show that habitat can be incorporated into an existing industrial facility, that these things can exist together. We could not think of anybody better than Long Live the Kings to partner with on this. They have the expertise, they have the knowledge, they have the network in the region. We are working with the University of Washington and the wetlands ecosystem team, and they have a lot of experience sampling and studying urban habitat. They're looking at the presence of fish at the site. They're looking at what the fish have in their bellies, and then they're looking at the bugs that would make up that diet. By doing this before after study, we can gain some information on how the salmon have responded to that habitat restoration. And if we do see a positive response, then that information is really important to be able to share with others in this estuary or in other urbanized estuaries. Ultimately, our goal is to take this project and export it to other facilities that we own, uh, but also take the knowledge and share it with our industry partners and try to encourage them to do similar projects at their locations. This project is a great example of Vigor's desire to really steward the land that they're working on. Walk in your talk this is what we're attempting to do here and demonstrating that it can be built and be successful. Every acre of habitat that we can create in the Lower Duwamish matters. A success would be seeing juvenile salmon hanging out here in abundance.